the three fifty and sixty A class students during the past two years. Uh, some MBA students, some uh, fieldwork students. Uh, we started with an experimental study which we did with the Inma fieldwork students. We just wanted to get a better understanding of what is happening in Narega, what are the processes, because we were also not sure. Um, and that exploration was done in uh, nine states. Um, and we looked at some 40 odd Narega assets. Uh, and we wanted to see whether Narega was being implemented um, in, in theory as it is proposed in paper and in spirit. Uh, then we specifically did a study also with EMA fever students to explore the labor market interactions. So how is Narega influencing the local labor markets and how are local labor markets influencing Narega? Um, in 2010, we had eight EMA NK students, including Nisha, who is now working with us. And they worked in four states and they did more intensive work. They, in these four states, they covered around 143 assets. They did case studies of 143 best performing Narega water assets. Uh, and they covered 75 villages in these four states. And in these 75 villages, they also talked to people about the labor market interactions. We have covered some additional fieldwork done by AB and EB Tata people over this time. Uh, Professor Shah and Hindu did some fieldwork in Punjab, Haryana, Eastern UP, and West Bengal. <coughs> and uh, while their main objective was something else, they also talked to people about Narega and their local field work, which was very interesting. I did visit some of the students who were in the field in South Gujarat and South Rajasthan and did some fieldwork there. And then there was this uh, German Development Corporation and Ministry of Food Development Missions on a new project that they are initiating, uh, which looks at environmental impacts and climate change adaptations from Narega. Uh, so this mission was basically to develop the proposal. Uh, and I joined the mission for about a week when they were in the field. So I got to do some field work in Amdha and NT as well. This is more recent. These are some of the students who work with us. Um, we will start with a presentation on the impact of Narega implementation on the local labor markets in Kerala. Specifically because Kerala is a unique case and probably Nisha will talk about that. Then I will present, uh, make a presentation on how is the labor market dynamics different after Narega. Then we have a presentation from Apoorva on the quality of Narega employment. This is an article that he wrote. Uh, and then we have some time for discussion. And here, the discussion, we will focus on the maximizing the wage benefits of Narega, which is the, the, the employment generation and the labor market interaction. Then we have a number of studies on basically looking at the non-wage benefits of Narega. Uh, which is mostly the assets created under Narega. So we have a study uh, which Dr. Malik will present on the efficacy of employment programs in providing water security. This was a study done under the EB project with the Gates Foundation. Uh, then Nitin Basi will present an IRAP paper uh, on Narega and rural water management in India, which is written by Nitin and Dinesh. Uh, Seema Dave will present uh, an interesting case from BSC where they are using Narega for rehabilitating irrigation systems. Uh, I will present a synthesis of the case study of best performing Narega assets that we did with the students. Uh, Bhatra will join us after the gender session in the second half. So we will talk about Narega as a field lab for PUS, multiple use water services. Uh, if if there is time, then I can maybe, not for 15 minutes, but 5 minutes, talk about this German Development Corporation project. Uh, they have sent me a presentation, they couldn't come themselves. So I can just talk about what the project is trying to do, what are its objectives and plan or proposed activities. And then we can have discussion on maximizing the non-wage benefits of Narega. So this is broadly our program till 6.30. In between here, 4 to 4.30, we have a tea break. Okay. So let's start with. Uh, okay.